Breaking news, controversies right now sweeping the face of Abuja over Abakiari's whereabouts after the Kuja prison attack. So there are serious controversies now surrounding Abakiari's whereabouts after the attack on the Kuja Correction Center. Abakiari, that's the place he has been and... Um, you know why others are saying he's been saved some other says no you know that um you know he was taken away so there are real serious controversies because some quarters i mean there are all kinds of conflicting reports to be quite candid i must be totally honest with you with regards to what is going on there are all kinds of conflicting reports some are saying that um they've moved him that the government has moved abakiari others are saying that the bokos freed him so there are really real serious controversies and we are totally and completely unsure on what the matter is and where abakiari currently is right now we don't know honestly speaking if i tell you i know i will sincerely be lying to you okay i would tell, i'll be lying to you so there are serious controversies surrounding abakiari and the whole prison break going on Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Controversies have surrounded the whereabouts of suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari, about after bandit attacked the Kuje Correction Center, Abuja, where he was kept. Gunmen attacked the Correction Center in Kuje Area Council of the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja on Tuesday night. During the attack, which lasted for an hour without any form of interference from any um, security, some inmates were said to have escaped. The Kuje prison is famous for holding high profile inmates suspect, including former governors and ministers. Sources in the prison told our correspondent that the whereabouts of Abakiari and other inmates were unknown earlier on Tuesday morning. We have not seen him today. He didn't even come for Shibab, that's early morning prayer, prayer as usual, but I don't know what is happening. A source in the prison told our correspondent. Another officer who preferred anonymity said that the whereabouts of Kiari remains unknown to him at about 9.30 a.m. I'm sure he's not missing and he didn't escape, but I don't know what exactly is happening, where he is, the officer has said, and where and who, if they have deceitfully taken him out of this place in order to report that the incident of what happened led him away out of the correction center. His whereabouts is still a mystery. The correction service guard who played anonymity has said, Oman Abubakar said Kiari is not missing. Abubakar also noted that Abba Kiari has not been removed from the prison. He is still in our custody, he said. Nothing happened to him. He has not been moved, he told the Punch newspaper when they called for explanation. Abubakar, in a statement in the early hours of on Wednesday morning, said the armed squad of the service collaborators with other service agencies respond to the attack. But guard says that nobody came in till about one hour later when they have successfully carried out their mission. The statement was titled the Media Security Custody Center could be attacked by gunmen. So this is what is happening. We are unsure. Uh, we are not totally sure of, you know, all that is going on because there seem to be some lies and deceit surrounding all that is currently ongoing. There seem to be some lie and deceit, okay? Uh, some persons, some people are not quite saying the truth. They are neither here nor there in respect to what could possibly be going on, okay? Some people are just using their own deceit to continue to cause a real form of, you know, destruction and all that is currently happening listen nigerians unless something is done you know what what you, you can see if you want to paint the picture and connect the dots 
the government could use this as a deceitful plot to say, you know what, something um, Abakiari was released. Why this whole thing happened? It can't be seen, and the guy can be sneaked out of the country. Remember that the U.S. wants him, and he has told them already. Nigerian government ensure that they put things in place so that it, it will not be, you know, extradited out of the country. And so the things that have happened have shown to us that there are real costs and serious calls for concern with all that is happening. And he um, says, you know what, if something is not done drastically to change the course of the narrative, some things, you know, will not quite, you know, line up nicely. So the Kuje Correction Center, why some are saying they can't find Abakiari. Others are saying he's fine, he's well. So there are conflicting reports as to, you know, what's happening to Abakiari. We don't know. We sincerely don't know. There are conflicting reports on this regard. There are sincerely. Okay? Conflicting reports. So this is what is going on right now. And um, we must continue to tell the truth and ensure that um, all that, you know, has been put in place you know, it's in order for the nation to move forward because if we continue to see this kind of devastation, you know, and lies being propagated apparently by those who says they are government officials, then you know that there is problem. Then you know that there is serious problem because uh, people who you thought, okay, mean the nation well are the very people who have refused, okay, for anything to go well in the country. They are the very people who have been working against anything, okay, that could potentially bring about a uh, difference and a change in the nation in the course of all that is happening. So wait up, my people, and let us be honest, let us be true on this regards and on this grounds for some of the issues that are currently staring us all in the face. Nigerians, for some time now, we have, some of us have been lied to, okay, and not just be, you, you don't have to wait to, 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 to tell yourself if you've been lied to or not, we all know it, when the administration starts, then the things begin to fall apart, you don't need anyone, okay, to tell you that this is, this is really not right, that there are lies all cooked up here, and most of the politicians, that's what they do, and that's why we are pleading with everybody, don't go and sell your vote for assault, uh, 5,000 naira, 10,000 naira. Listen, they are making a heavy investment and they will get what investment, they will get returns on their investment. So if you sell it, I can assure you that you will not get that which is true in terms of development and growth for the nation. Okay, leave us a comment. Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. Bye for now.